Hey, what's up? I know what you're wondering. It's a nice chair. Who makes it? Let's talk about it. is a Silkcase gesture chair. I purchased it roughly four months ago. I've used it since then. And it is honestly the best productivity chair I've ever owned. And I've sat in many productivity chairs. Let's name them. Okay, here we go. Name dropping, Silkcase Leaps. V1s and V2s. Yes, the ones that got the firmware update. What else? I've sat in many Herman Miller Aeron chairs. The smalls, the mediums, the larges. They look great, but they don't feel like this, let me tell you. I've also sat in Herman Miller and body chairs, spent hours on those, they're good chairs. But if you put this Silkcase gesture in the lineup with all of those chairs and you say, welcome to the game show, Romy, where you get to pick your chair for free. Which one do you want to choose? Let me tell you what I'll do. I'll grab that and body chair that's like worth 1500 bucks. I'll sell it, flip it buy a gesture and pocket the 600 bucks. That's how good of a chair this is. I will tell you why I like this chair. Everything they say is true. These things function independent of each other. They go up and down. They do this thing. They go this way. You can bring them back like this. You could bring these back this way. There's like, what do they call it? 4D telescoping? I don't know, I don't know. I just, I just work here. You put it this way. And for me, actually I have very, very minor scoliosis. What that really means is, you know, my back, my spine doesn't go like this. There's a little bit of curvature. So this thing pushes forward. And if you're like me, this works out well. In the beginning, when I owned this chair for the first few weeks, I actually had this slightly higher than this one and kind of moved this way. And over time, I actually have them the same, which leads me to the lower back support. When I was in the market, I was actually really focusing on getting an Aeron because the one thing I really did like about the Aeron, that mesh, it looked futuristic. In fact, it looked so futuristic that I had it in my head that mesh was the way to go. But when I got this, I am 3000% happy that I made this choice. What you find about this chair is that it will help you keep your posture and not in an uncomfortable way. I have heard reviews that this thing makes people feel like they're getting pushed forward. I don't feel that. I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm on carpet. I don't feel that. I don't know if it's because I got lucky with a great chair, but this thing forces me in a good way again to keep my posture. And I was one of those people in school that used to slouch because he thought he was cool. I'm not cool. This thing is kind of course correcting it. And it's also course corrected the way I sit with my elbows. So if you have lower back problems, you might want to consider this chair. Um, also, when it comes to lower back problems, I don't know if it helps, but I did get this $20 add-on, which is a lumbar support. So with that, let's actually talk about the things you could do to customize this chair. All right, the most obvious thing you could do is customize the actual color as seen here. I will link to what this color is, um, but I got this in a kind of gray tone, as you can see here. They have many, many different options on the Steelcase website. I recommend checking them out, but I'm very, very happy with this color. You know, initially I thought that I wouldn't like it because maybe it would show dirt marks, etc. Again, I've, I've owned this for four months. My daughter jumps in it sometimes, and you could see it is looking crisp and clean, just like I had bought it yesterday. So here you could actually um, save yourself some money and get a plastic back. That's the default. I spent like, I think 20 bucks more to have this fabric wrap around here. I'm glad I did though, because it is a nice complement to the colors down here. You see how it's like a dark gray that goes into this slight silver into this almost eggshell back. Looking really nice. And up here you could actually upgrade to get a headrest. I'm glad I did not get the headrest. I'm the kind of person that will sit on those seats on a plane and hate that the headrest is stuck there and I can't move it. It feels like it's pushing my head forward. This does not do that. The other thing you can actually customize is not just the color of the fabric, 
but the color of the backing, you can change the color of the back and you can actually also change the color of this. Again, check out the website. It gives you a lot of flexibility in how you want to choose things. And then again, here is the lumbar support that I had um, opted in for. I think this is 20 bucks. I figured, look, I'm about to spend a little north of 800. I'm also added in because this is an investment. So let's talk about these, these levers. This right here actually has a second thing. The knob makes it such that you can apply stops to the spec. So if you click it, this thing will eventually stop when you lean back and it'll stop based on what you do here. So you can make it like go all the way back. Well, not all the way back. I'll show you in a moment. Or you can make it just stop like midway. So that's what that is. And then you can also change the tension. Maybe you want to make it such that when you lean back, it like easily goes backwards. Maybe you want it so that it actually forces you to put a little bit of pressure. You can do that. Here, this thing makes, makes the chair go up and down. This right here, look closely, will move this forward and backwards. And this is actually really important to make sure that your booty is sitting in the proper spot, your knees are in the proper spot. I didn't think actually I, I would care for this thing, but after realizing what it does and how it feels, I'm super glad I got this. So that's another thing. Here's the lever I was using earlier to bring the, the handles up and down. It's super easy. Up, down. All right, this was another product review in the bag. This, again, was a still case gesture reviewed by me, Romy McCassid. If it helped you at all, please drop a like. If you're interested in seeing more of these videos, check out my channel and please subscribe. And if you have any questions, drop a comment. I'll get back to it. All right, well, thanks. Peace.